morning Rachel um, quick reply to your video um, loved your video thought it was amazing well done for getting yourself out there um, that's the first challenge you've got to overcome today so the other two are getting calls um, completed and feeling confident with them is well within your reach um, wanted to reply specifically to you about cold calling or calling on the phone or selling on the phone or whatever you want to call it um, this is something that I started my career doing so my first job when I was 16 was selling double glazing on the phone I used to spend four hours a day making cold calls to people asking them if they wanted to buy double glazing and after that I went on to sell water um, so I worked for a local water company and I used to be what was called on the dialer which is where we would ring people and ask them why they hadn't paid for their water bill to which people used to say it's free, it falls out of the sky, why should we bother paying for it so I've spent plenty of years and thousands of phone calls um, trying to sell on the phone so here's my top tips for you today the first thing is mindset it's really incredibly important that what you do when you're actually making that phone call is you forget everything that's happened before. So all of the negatives, all of the no's you've got, all of those calls that haven't gone very well, put them to one side, put them to bed. The phone call that you're making is the only one that matters right now and that person is the main focus. Just swipe everything else out of your mind. Um, this takes practice, it's not easy to do because you're naturally thinking about all of the other phone calls that have gone before but it's really important. The second thing to think about is knowing what you're actually going to say. Um, if you've got time, check out Wayne's sales webinar um, that's in the, the Block the Bitch um, members area of the website so that you've got a plan of where you're going with the phone call. We used to script everything and it just makes it so much easier to actually go through and know where you're taking the phone call and especially know how you're going to ask for the sale. So there's lots of different closing techniques that you can use. Um, you can assume the close, for example, that means assuming that they're going to buy and you start working on the details. So you start asking questions like, um, if we're going to train together, um, would it be one day a week or two days a week you'd want to train, for example. There are other sorts of closing techniques, um, such as asking outright for the sale and saying, so, um, you know, do you want to commit to working with me for two days a week? The other way of going about it is um, to sort of ask around... Um, there you go. You see, this is what happens when you don't script things. You go completely off course. <laughs> um, other closing techniques um, would be to do the alternative close. So you say things like, um, would you like to work with me on a Monday or a Tuesday, for example, and giving them those alternatives um, to, to try and to get through and make them commit to... Um, what you want them to. So mindset is really important. Secondly is your plan so that you know exactly where you're going um, and I think I've clearly demonstrated what happens when you don't have a plan and you don't script it so that's pretty beautiful. Um, and the third thing is to just be confident in what you're offering. You know, you know that you're an incredible PT, you know that you can get people results and you know that you're going to be able to help them. So just be really confident with that. Um, it's not arrogant to be able to tell people that you can help them reach their goals and reach their dreams. That's just confidence. Um, and finally, I would also say um, that you're going to get some no's. Um, that's just part and parcel of what you do. When you're selling, not everybody's going to go for it. And that's okay, it doesn't mean you've failed, it doesn't mean you've not done a good job, it just means it wasn't right for working with the person that you were talking to on the phone. So, they're my tips, I hope you do really well today, um, and I'm really rooting for you Rachel, so let us all know later um, how you got on. Thanks, bye.